Today I'll be making my own Minecraft from scratch as a Lego game. My objective is gonna be to make weapons as well as rideable horses, destroyable terrain, and to top it all, the Nether, End, and Dragon. For this huge project, I'll be using Unreal Engine as well as Blender and Mecha Bricks for 3D modeling. Okay, let's start by making the model for Steve. I tried to make it on my own using some random Lego references, but because my modeling skills are, well, questionable, I decided to use the official Lego Minecraft design that I downloaded online. Next, I gave it a nice skeleton and used Mixamo to make it move, punch and jump. The textures glitch in Mixamo, but don't worry, they will look just fine in Unreal. I then imported everything and went on to making the code for it to move, and by making the code I mean that I copied everything from the example character. Ok, he already moves, but... Oh, this looks amazing, I really like how this is going. Next, I decided I was gonna make the combat system, so I made an iron sword and shield on mecha brick and imported them to Unreal. Next, I made the sword show up on your right hand, but that messed up the movement for some reason. Turns out I forgot to turn off the collisions for the sword model. Once I finally fixed that, I proceeded to copy everything for the shield, because recycling is good for the planet. The animations looked a little funny to me, so I went on to Mixamo, typed in sword and shield and downloaded some better ones. And yeah, that looks perfect. Now I had to make it so that you can actually attack. So I downloaded some attacking animations and decided to make two versions. One punching with the sword and shield on the back and another one actually using the sword. I also added a sprint button so that you can't actually run but it looked very bad so I had to get some running animations. And I think that's all we need for the movement, yeah. Next I decided that if you could attack things you may as well be able to get damaged so I started designing different health and hunger systems. I knew I wanted to use the Lego hearts because they look so clean, but it didn't really combine that well with the Minecraft hunger bar. I tried finding a texture pack but none convinced me so I ended up making my own hunger bar by tracing the normal one in Inkscape, and I think that actually looks just fine. I also added the inventory on the bottom, but for now it doesn't do anything. Now that we have a way to receive damage, I went on to making some enemies. I found the Lego Minecraft zombie model, animated it and gave it a little AI so that it would move around and attack the player when it sees him. Then I started getting a little tired of working with 3D models, so I took a small break by making the menu. I wanted to make it a combination of the Lego menus and the Minecraft menu, so I started by searching for the iconic font used in most lego games, which thanks to a reddit post I discovered was this one. Then I created a little logo for the game as well as some basic options. I also saw that the Minecraft menu has the background image of some random landscape, so I got a similar one but in lego. I also didn't like how the letters combine with the background, so I added the grey boxes to separate the text from the image, and I think that looks pretty good. After that I went back to working on the actual gameplay, I made some really questionable tree models using mecha bricks, don't worry I will replace them with better ones later on, and made sure that they were made of many pieces so that they could break apart when punched by the player. Next I made the actual code for that, and by code I mean that I moved a lot of boxes around and yeah. Now when the player punches a tree, the different parts of it all get realistic physics, fall apart and then after 2 seconds disappear. It also gives you good, although you can't actually use it for anything yet. I'm pretty happy with how the game works right now, but I figured it may be kinda boring to exist on this flat grey prison surrounded by an infinite void, so I went back to Blender to make a map for the game. But I thought it was too flat, so I looked up on YouTube tutorials on how to make procedurally generated LEGO terrain. There was one. Fortunately it was good enough, and now we have this beautiful mountainous terrain and we can walk on it. Oh, oh. There we go. Next I decided to make some 3D models for grass, plants and bushes. I then used the paint tool to carefully place them in natural positions by randomly dragging my mouse around. And I don't know about you, but I think this really took the game to another level. That looks so good. By this point there were only a few more things I wanted to add to make the perfect LEGO Minecraft experience. I decided I would first work on the horses, since I wanted to make the world feel more alive and also the portal tutorial was half an hour long. I started by downloading a LEGO horse asset and giving it a simple AI so that it would move around. 
Then I made it so that when you get close to it, it allows you to control it by pressing C. However, you still cannot see what your character looks on top of the horse. So I fixed that by making a hidden model that only shows up when you get on the horse and there we go. Next I wanted to make the nether, so I started by learning how to transport Steve into a new map. Then I made some assets for the nether floor, the lava and even a lego bastion which took a long time to make. Next I made the actual nether portal, I decided to use a similar look to the Mario 64 paintings to make it more unique and also because there were many tutorials. I also wanted to give it the aesthetic of a ruined portal to make it more interesting. Although there aren't many official LEGO Minecraft blocks, so I'm not a 3D artist and I did what I could. So anyways, after that I wanted to make another portal, but it wasn't the end portal, I leave that for last. I was gonna make the Aether portal. You see, when I was a kid there was this video that showed how to go to a sky dimension that for some reason didn't exist on normal Minecraft, but it's gonna exist on my Minecraft. So first I downloaded some assets, mainly clouds, and started working on the map. I wanted to make it kind of a memorial of all the fake Minecraft things that I used to believe as a kid. So I tried making the thing to invoke Herobrine and spent more time than I'm willing to admit on making Herobrine himself, but then I realized I didn't really have other similar ideas. So instead I started working on the portal. For which I just reused what I had made for the nether portal except changing all the textures to make it look a little more angelic and pure. The final thing I had to make now was the end, and I wanted to make it special as it would be the finale of the game. I found this official Lego Ender Dragon model, but I think it looks, you know, not good. So I decided to make my own model instead, based more on the original. Then I went on to making the main island which I realized is more flat than the overworld and actually looks kind of like an iceberg. So I decided to take the model I made for the overworld, rotate it 180 degrees and then place a flat surface on top with tiny elevations here and there. For the pillars I just used the same blocks as for the nether portal and I just took the end crystals and dragon egg models from normal minecraft since yeah, there's no way I'm making that. If you manage to kill the dragon, the end portal lights up and you can finally actually complete the game. The download link will be in the description if you want to try it out. I know there are many things that could improve this game, but I wanted to dedicate it a few months and not a few years. This was also my first time making a LEGO game and my first time making a devlog, so you know.